All right, hello everybody, Carolyn here. Today I'm going to be doing a super exciting video. We're finally going to be setting up for Monster X's Shape of Love comeback. I'm so excited. So yes, they have a new mini album coming out on the 26th of April. It was supposed to come out on the 11th and then everyone got COVID and we were sad, but now everyone's better. So <laughs> it's all good. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and set up for the comeback today. I'm super, super excited. Also, one of the reasons I hesitated setting up um, too early was because this and the Kino were the only things released for a while and I knew there was more coming <laughs> and there definitely was more coming. So we're gonna go over album specifics real quick. I have a ton of things, a ton of fillers to put into my binder today. Um, we're collecting OT5 again this era. If you don't know, I collect full group Monsta X for pretty much everything. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm just on G Market's website right now, but I figured this way we can talk about like G Market pogs and the album itself all at the same time. So we have the dust jacket, which I assume is kind of similar to like Wano's album where there's like an outer casing on the album. Um, then we have the photo book. Oh, also the versions this time are like name versions. We have the love version, the originality version, the vibe version, and the everything version. And Juhan named these versions himself, which I think is so cute. So <laughs> yes, there's a lot of member participation in this album and I think it's so, so cool. So yeah, then we have the four CDs. Of course we have one photo card per member per version as always. And we also have 10 unit cards again, which is similar to last era. Um, we have the random stickers, which, yup, there's that. So you get two out of 10 in an album and they're not even like all the same shape too, which is just, just like, like there's, there's member stickers, you can tell like, uh, and then there's just like these other random stickers. So that's fun. We also have the heart postcard and I'm not sure why there's like, like it looks like it's folded in this picture. I don't know, that's weird. Um, I wonder if they'll be the same size as Ives. I'm gonna have to look up if they're the same size as Ives. And then we get a random Polaroid, which is super, super fun. Um, and then of course you get a random member folded poster as well, um, which is pretty similar to their past couple comebacks. So yeah, um, for this version of the album, for like this full set version, you do get a heart cheek photo card set. So if you go to Starship Square, we buy one copy of the album, you get one set of cards. So like each member has two cards technically. And then if you buy a full set, so if you buy like all four versions, you get four. So in order to get all five pogs, you do need to buy five copies of this album, which Starship's robbing us, but it's fine. Yeah, so that is this version. Next we have the Kino. So this was the second thing that they released. So we have the album package, the air kit, um, the title and credit card, postcard, um, the like Kino photo cards, and then also a random member photo card. So the only thing that's like really random here is the random member photo card. I only have one Kino purchase so far, but I do plan on buying at least three, I think is my plan. Last era I bought two and I had like a really hard time finding the Kino cards last era. So I definitely wanna buy more Kinos this era. Um, I just don't know if I'm gonna pre-order more Kinos, but I definitely do plan on buying more Kinos. I might do something similar to what I did for Kian where I end up buying a bunch of Kinos like from US stores so that I don't have to pay as much for shipping. Um, and I save a little money there because he will price the Kino cards for literally insane prices. So yeah, and then this is the same pop, but um, last I checked, you couldn't, yeah, it might, yeah, it says Korea domestic shipping only. You can't buy the Kino on G Market if you don't live in Korea. If you live in Korea, you can buy it, but if you don't live in Korea, it won't ship. Next we have the jewel case version, which we all knew, we all knew was coming. I was manifesting it for a while. Actually, I wasn't really manifesting it as much as like mentally preparing myself for it to be announced. So we have the jewel case version. So of course one for each member. And then there's a random member photo card and there's also a random member mini folded poster. So if you bought the no limit jewel cases, it's very, very similar um, in the contents. For the jewel cases, um, they come with the music video photo card A bundles. So you buy like all five 
If you buy all five jewel cases, you'll get all five of the Music Video A photo cards. So yeah, um, I think it's like one-to-one -one still. Yeah, it's one-to-one -one still. But if you buy all five jewel cases, you buy, you get five cards. So that's cool. And then finally, we need to talk about the special version, but I'm gonna go here just because there's a different set of paws. So this is like the Starship Square everything except the Kino bundle. Um, so that's fun. So we're gonna scroll past everything we've talked about so far. This is the special version. Last time they called it the limited edition, this time they called it the special version. This version has artwork from Minyak and photos taken by Kihan. So that is super exciting. We have like, the other three members participating on the the music on the album and we have Kihan and Minhyuk participating in like the special version of the album so that's super fun that everybody got to like participate in some way um so we've got the it seems like it's pretty much a similar size to the jewel case version which is nice because the limited edition of no limit was like very large <laughs> um and then we have the photo book cd you get a random member photo card again, and then there's only one folded poster. So there's not a lot like in the special edition, but it is another version. And the limited edition stuff was really difficult for me to collect last time. So I definitely want to at least have, I'm going to have two copies of the special edition, um, but I might end up buying a couple more copies. Like when I buy keynotes, I might end up buying like a special, another special edition, at least one more so that I only have to look for two members. Um, but yeah. So if you buy the entire bundle, which is all five jewel cases, all four of the normal photo book versions and the special edition. So you need to buy all, whatever this is, 10 albums. Then you get the, the other Starship Square benefit, which is a music video a photo card B. So yes, you get all of the photo cards um, and you get all of the ID photos as well. I didn't set up for the ID photos, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. So that is everything. There's also MMT POB. So my MMT Go is still open if you want to join it and get a POB. Um, but it's basically like one card per member, like one album equals one POB. There's five of them. Um, it's just the photo book version though. And then there's also K-Town Pobs, which are still available. My Go personally is closed, um, but you can still get the Pobs on K-Town because the comeback got extended. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can buy any version of the album and get the K-Town for you Pob. So yeah, double check that for me before you go ahead and do that, but it'll show up in your cart on K-Town for you if you're getting the Pob or not. So. Yeah, there's no new set of pops for like the jewel cases and the special edition. So that's all of that <laughs> crazy stuff. So that leads us to have all of these photo cards to set up for today. This also like doesn't even have the um, Polaroids on it and it doesn't include the ID photos. Um, so we have even more and it doesn't include the unit cards. So we have even more <laughs> to set up for. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the binder and get started. So yeah, I haven't actually reorganized my entire Monster X collection yet. So Wano's Obsession album is still in here. However, um, I'm planning on putting Shape of Love in this binder anyway. So I figured it didn't matter that I was filming this video first, but I do plan on doing a video. Maybe I'll film it this afternoon or tomorrow. I do plan on filming a video setting up for like reorganizing my Monster X collection. Um, I should have a pretty light week this week, so I'm hoping to get quite a bit of fun filming done. I want to have this video, like the reorganizing video done before my next sorting photo card video. So we are going to get to the end of the Voyager album. Should we do that? Let's just keep going in chronological order. Yeah, that's fine. And we're going to go ahead and get started. So I want to set up um, Shape of Love pretty similarly to how I set up no limit is not how i like filmed the video last time but how i actually ended up doing it um which is it's too far away at this point so i'm not gonna worry about it yeah so what we're gonna do is we're going to put all of kihan stuff together so these are all of my kihan related things so each member has technically eight photo cards um eight normal album photo cards so including the polaroid so that's <laughs> a lot 
of photo cards. Not quite sure how I'm going to set this up exactly yet. I'm just gonna kind of put things places. And I know that I want the Changi unit in the middle again, but I guess I should do these. So we'll do love, originality, vibe, and everything. So yeah, we're gonna keep Kihan separate again just because I really liked the way it worked out last time with having um, the four other members together and like putting two of their cards together. So yeah. There are like enough cards though that you could set it up. I thought about setting it up similarly to how I set up like OT8 Stray Kids for each Monster X member. Um, because if you don't know, I don't like five patterns. <laughs> so we're kind of struggling here without Shonu. Um, however, do this. So I thought about doing that, but I really like having the sets together. Um, and especially, I feel like these photo cards are gonna be so pretty. Like Monster X never really do light concepts. Like. The other day I took this photo from my Instagram, which go follow my collection Instagram, um, shameless plug, but I took this photo of like Kihan's No Limit cards and I was like, man, a lot of Monster X's photo cards are really so dark. <laughs> like they're really so dark. And so I'm wondering, we're supposed to get, we're supposed to get the first set of concept photos tomorrow. Um, so I'm excited to kind of see what they look like. But like I said, I don't think it's going to be necessarily like a bright happy concept but i don't think the album in particular is going to be super dark so this is what it looks like i know that like with the polaroid there i might end up doing something because it's going to look very different compared to everything else but and then i might like move things around based on what the concepts are for everything even if we don't need all of them right now <laughs> i'm still waiting for them to announce Soundwave, and obviously we're gonna get lucky draws and i I know they're literally going to K-pop flex in like like two weeks after their comeback that they're flying to Germany. However, oh man, I'm not gonna be surprised if they're still doing calls leading up to like right when they leave for the US for tour, which is also so exciting. So yeah, I think I said it on, did I say it on a video here yet? I have no idea. We're gonna go in order. So we're gonna do the love version it feels so nice to like actually have names like Juhan Juhan's watching my videos where I'm like why do I get version one two three and four <laughs> so we're gonna do the love version and then we're going to do the originality version just like that and I will put a hollow white filler in the middle I need to buy more of these soon I always link what supplies I use in the description box so if you're ever curious about anything that I use in any videos that I film. I have it as like a default setting. So like it's always in the description. I don't really have to edit it. <laughs> I mean, if I do if I feel like I need to, but um, yeah, I usually don't. But yeah, I don't know if I said it on camera yet. Uh, I might've mentioned it like in passing, but I did. Um, I opened an MMT Go to try to meet Kihan, right? And I had a couple people message me and this was like, a long time ago. This was like three weeks ago at this point. A lot of people messaged me and they were like, you know, I really want to join your MMT Go. However, I would rather just get like both sets of pre-order pods from the same person. Would you consider opening a K-Town for you go? And at first I only had like four people in my DMs asking me about this. And I was like, sure, like I'll do a small member claim or something. So I did a member claim. And the thing about like member claim versus a go, or at least what I like to consider the difference is like, a member claim is I'm gonna buy three sets of albums. So I'm gonna buy 15 albums, right? And I know that with those 15 albums, I'm gonna get three cards of each member. So these are the slots that I have open. That's what I consider a member claim. I don't consider that a go personally. And then more and more people were like, can I just claim an OT5 set? I was like, you know what? I should just open it as a go. Like I should just be like, I'm gonna give the people who had like member claims, member, priority because i promised them i would give them that member which like i pretty much always give everyone whatever member they're asking for um like i try super hard at least to give everyone the like pop that they ask for and goes um but in member claim like it's 100 percent confirmed like that's who you're getting um but yeah so we're gonna do the other two versions here so we're gonna do the everything version 
and also the vibe version. So anyways, I opened it as a go and it ended up being a pretty popular group order. Like it got more attention than I thought and I didn't really promote it that much on social media, but I ended up with, I'll go ahead and say, I mean, the fan call is over at this point, but I ended up with, oh, that's the wrong spot. I ended up with about 65 albums. Um, and when I saw that, I was like, you know what? I wasn't going to apply for anyone for K-Town, but like, I really want to do a Juhan call this era. So like, let me just put it towards Juhan and if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I had plans to try later in the era anyways, so it's not really a big deal. I had a plan, I had plans to try, like focus on getting into Kihan's MMT and then try later um, to get into a Juhan call or a Changyun call. I hadn't really decided yet, but I've been wanting to talk to Juhan since like Gambler era. And so, I was like, you know what? Let me just put these albums towards Juhan and we'll see what happens, right? The fan call period ended. And I think next I'm gonna do um, the special and the jewel case. I don't know. Should I do the Kino and the Pult? Mm. Let's do the jewel case and the Kino cards. The day of the fan sign announcement came and all, like I had a couple friends who were like, oh my gosh, like when is it happening? Like, oh, I'm gonna do Kino first. So I'll do jewel case second. Um, when is it happening? When are results? And I was like, honestly, I don't think I'm getting in. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna get in because like the end of the fan sign, like purchase period, our sales jumped like literally 7,000 albums. And I was like, there's no way. <laughs> Like, there's no way I got in with 65. Like, that's just not possible. And so it was interesting because I was up late editing as I do on most nights. It was like 2 a.m. I think the results came out and I was working on editing a video. I had my email notifications on like at all times. And so I'm like working on the video, staring at my computer and I get this notification. I get this like thing for K-Town about the event and I was like, Okay, but I usually don't get like follow-up emails like days after I purchase the albums. And I ended up getting in to the Juhan fan call, which is insane. So I'm actually meeting Juhani um, already this era. And it's just like, like I really, I promise you, I really wasn't trying to get in. <laughs> like I really wanted to get in. And you know, when I entered, I was like so excited, but then I saw how much the sales jumped and I was like, there's no way. Like people bought hundreds and hundreds of albums for this fan call. Um, but actually, you know, and I think that's like a very big misconception in the Mon Bebe community is that like you need hundreds and hundreds of albums to get in. Like last era was difficult, a hundred percent. We'll never deny that it wasn't difficult. I tried three times and didn't get in at all. Um, none of those numbers were super large, but I know people who got in with less than a hundred for the pre-order calls last era too. So I don't know. It depends on the fan sign. It depends on them. Like, like I have friends who applied for other members for K-Town and they bought a lot more albums than me, but yeah. So there's definitely like, there's no super special like number. And that's why people get upset when I don't like say my numbers but if you watch any of my like group order vlogs i am very open about how many albums i'm sorting so like you can kind of guess how many albums i applied for the fan call with so it's not that i'm not like open about it but um i just feel like it's hard to say this is how many albums you need to get into a member because it's not true like no matter what like all of my numbers have been so different for all of the members I've gotten in some, like, I got into Minhyuk's fan call for 20 albums. I bought 20 albums. Maybe it wasn't even that much. It might've been like 15 or something. And like, I've gotten into Wano before with over a hundred albums, but I didn't necessarily need a hundred albums. I've gotten into Wano before with 40 albums, like, it, you know, and I've gotten into Kihyun with 140 albums. Like there's no one number that's going to get you into a fan call. And I think that's like what a lot of people, you know, it's not, I mean, once you do it a couple times, you kind of get an idea, but like every site is gonna be different. Every member is gonna be different. The beginning of the era is gonna be different from the end of the era. Like there's no number that's gonna get you into a fan call. Um, and 
that's kind of what I learned when I applied to Juhan. Cause I was like, there's no way, like this number is not, this is not a good enough number for it. But I just want to try my luck and just see. But yeah, it's like, I think people, I think a lot of people overbuy for fan calls. I've definitely overbought before, but I don't really overbuy on purpose. Um, I just kind of buy whatever my group order ends up being. So like for Blue Letter, I think I had 80 albums for Wano and I did not need 80 albums, but there were 80 albums in my group order. So that's what I bought. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, it's not, it's a raffle system, 100%. And, um, don't let anybody tell you that it's not. Don't let anybody tell you there's one specific number you need because it's not true. Like, it's 100% not true. Anyways, moving on from that, um, next we're going to do unit cards, I think. So, so obviously I put the Changi card at the beginning. So we don't need to worry about that card and that leaves us with nine unit cards. So I'm gonna go in age order, starting with Minyak and Kihan. Can finish the unit cards as quickly as I did last time again because I would really like that. Juhan, Yaki Hyung Won. I'm so excited for this comeback though. I think when I see the actual teasers tomorrow, it's gonna feel so much more real. <laughs> Cause right now it doesn't feel like this comeback is happening because literally it's it's been so long since they actually announced this. It kind of worked out better, honestly. Like I think I would have really hated Ive and Monsta X coming back a week within each other. Like just from a collection purpose as well. Like, I think I would have actually hated that. I wasn't excited about it, to be honest, just because like I collect full group for both of those groups. Obviously I was excited about new music from both those groups. Um, but as far as collecting goes, I was kind of like, I really wish that they wouldn't come back that close to each other. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it's good for that reason. I'm really sad that everyone got sick. Like it makes me really, really sad. They've been so good about not getting sick too and I, a lot of the members like said that too they were like i went so long without getting sick <laughs> like like we did they went to the united states did a jingle ball tour everyone around them got sick and they didn't end up getting sick like i was convinced somebody was gonna get sick from jingle ball but nope they were like super careful that's not saying they weren't super careful this time either um uh, next time i'm going to do or next i'm gonna do um did I not do the Starship Square heart cards? Oh my God, I didn't, I did them for Kihan, but I didn't do them for everyone else. No, is that real? Or did I just misplace some cards somewhere? Okay, so we're gonna start with Kihan's pub. So Kihan gets his own pub page again. Um, I am just gonna kind of add to this as I did last era, but we're gonna do, I forgot to make Starship Square heart cards for everybody else. <laughs> So we might have to do that real quick, but let me just go ahead and put these in. I might switch this around, but I assume that these are going to be like full. I also didn't make a sticky note for the ID card. I don't know what I'm going to do with the ID cards yet. I liked the ID cards from No Limit so much more. Um, and Starship gave us like actual IDs this time. I hate ID photos. Like I really do. They're so annoying to store, but like I bought them because it was Monsta X. I don't know why they couldn't do what they did for No Limit again. Like, like these are, where are they? These are ID cards, but they're actually on a card. But like we knew it beforehand. So like that's actually Minyak's ID. It just has like an, a card that goes along with it. And I don't know why they couldn't do that again, this era. That's very annoying. <laughs> very annoying Starship. But you know, another thing with them pushing the comeback was that um, I feel like the comeback felt super rushed um, when they announced it. I was kind of like, how do they already have an album done and ready to go? Um, let me do it like this. But I also feel like now they have, like Starship had some more time to get it together. I don't know. 
Like the way that they announced pre-orders without giving us any album specs was like odd. It just gave, it was just a red flag. I was like, they announced this too quickly. So, I mean, it was good that the members got like a week to rest, even though they were sick. So like, you don't really feel rested. They weren't like on vacation, but I think they all pretty much experienced symptoms at some point, at least like a sore throat. But I know there were a couple members that felt like pretty sick from it, which is really sad. So they probably didn't feel like super rested afterwards, but it was nice that like Starship, Starship literally couldn't make them keep working even though they were sick. <laughs> so there is that positive. They were forced by the law to make them stop working when they were sick. So we're gonna do the music video A and B photo cards on this page. And then I also, oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot to make the heart cards for everybody else. That's okay. It won't take a super long time to do it. I'll just do it on camera real quick. The reason I don't do it on camera is I feel like it's just a lot of like empty, not empty footage, but it's just a lot of like time lapse -y footage. And I don't know if people would appreciate that. So also it would make this video way longer, which like I know y'all don't care that my videos are long, but. Sometimes I try to upload, like I was looking through my videos yesterday <laughs> and how are all of my videos like 45 minutes to an hour? Like, and there's a couple of like 30 minute ones in there, but like, it's insane. Now we're gonna do, I should technically do the heart photo cards first, like the heart cheek cards first, but that's okay. We can't, we might switch them. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Oh my gosh, can you believe how much I just added into this binder? <laughs> so much. Okay, Carolyn once again using up all of her white sleeves. It's funny that I literally found like 300 at my parents' house too when they were moving out and I went back to like look through all my stuff. And yet, here we are, still running low because of Monsta X. Go back here now. Oh my gosh, so thick. <laughs> it's, once I take out the nine pages of one pops in here, it'll be better, but no. Nope. I have to get more clear sleeves before this comeback too. I'm getting a little low on clear sleeves. I think I have maybe Hmm, that's the wrong spot. I don't know how many I have left actually. It's definitely less than a hundred, which is not good <laughs> considering. I have plenty of like perfect fit sleeves and I have plenty of, um, plenty of what's it called, but I gotta get more Titan Shield sleeves. I really like storing Monstex cards in the Titan Shield sleeves, especially like Monstex and Stray Kids. I really, like for everyone else, I don't really care, but for Monstex and Stray Kids, I really like to have them in Titan Shield sleeves um, cause they're my faves right now. But I went to Titan Shield's website the other day and they were sold out of them. So I was like, let me get some Titan Shield sleeves real quick. <laughs> you know what I need to do? I need to make room for my signed Juhani photo card. I think I might store that on my shelf. I don't think I'm actually gonna put that in my binder. I might just like display it on my shelf. I guess they send the signed photo cards separately because I, so for my like K-Town Go, I bought five albums for myself because obviously I collect full group. Um, but 
I was like, are they gonna give me my like fan sign winner card in addition to it? But like, that's what they do for Wano is they give me, cause Wano's the only person I've ever won like um, fan sign winner cards for. Cause I haven't won for Kihan or Mingyuk. Like I didn't win for them during um, a fan sign, like a, because like MMT and Sub K used to not give like fan sign winner cards. Like they wouldn't do fan sign winner cards. They wouldn't do fan sign winner cards for, um, K-Town at one point either, but I know that they've been doing those for, for a minute. So this is actually the first time I've won like a Monstax fan sign winner card. Usually I um, don't. <laughs> it's fun, oh my gosh, my first signed photo card too. Why did I put Juhan there? I'm just, I got Juhan on the brain. Um, but yeah. The call is at 7.30 a.m. Eastern time and I have to leave for an exam at 9.30 a.m. So I literally have to like go from K-pop Carolyn to woman in STEM Carolyn so fast. <laughs> like right after the fan call um, to go take my organic chemistry exam. <clears throat> my organic chemistry exam, like could it be on a worse day? Like my orgo exam, not the Juhan call. Can my orgo exam be on a different day? Oh, so sad, but it's the day after the comeback. It's the first, um, call of the comeback. So that's gonna be so fun too, to talk to Juhan, the first call of the comeback. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. But yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the rest of these here. There's only two more sleeves. I'm 100% gonna need more than that. But for right now, I'm gonna leave those there. Definitely gonna try to film this this afternoon. If not, I'll film it tomorrow. I should have time to film tomorrow and the lighting's supposed to be better tomorrow, so yeah. Okay, so for everything else, the only thing I'm gonna set up for are the heart cards, just because I haven't decided how I wanna store the stickers. I might try to see if they can fit in a 10 pocket, um, but I wanna test that out first before I like put sleeves in my binder. So for the heart cards, it looks like they're gonna fit in here, but I would have to put numbers sideways, so I might end up using a two pocket instead. I just haven't really decided yet. I haven't thought a lot about the large inclusion. And then the posters, I'm gonna store, well, the posters in the photo book version, I won't be storing in my binder because I never store those. I just keep five copies of the album and I store them in there. Um, but for the, the jewel case posters, I will store. I'll store it in my normal way that I normally store these, which is just, um, here, I can show you in a second. Let me just put some lock in here. The way I stored Keegan's is how I stored No Limit as well. So I'm just gonna put two posters in a one pocket. So yeah, but yeah. It's gonna be a fun next couple of months with like fan calls and them going to like their world tour and them going to Berlin as well. And they're doing KCON Korea as well. And they have FanCon. Oh my gosh, I have to buy my FanCon ticket. Everybody in the comments, tell me to buy my FanCon ticket so that I remember after I post this video. So I can be like, oh yes, my fan con ticket. I think that filler is a little too big for that sleeve, so I'm gonna have to fix it, but that's okay. It's okay for right now. All right, man, I wish Shona was here every day. It's so sad having an empty spot. <laughs> like I really hate it, honestly. Shona, come back to us. Ugh, you've been gone too long, man. Anyways, this is everything that we just added into the binder for Monstax's comeback. So we have the Kihyun normal album card page. We have the love and the originality version. We have the vibe and the everything version. We have the jewel case and the kit. And then we have the special album cards and the Polaroids. If the Polar, like depending on what the concepts are for these three sets of cards, I'll probably put the Polaroids with whatever matches up the best, um, like concept wise. I assume there's gonna be overlapping concepts from like the normal four album versions into the jewel case and the special and whatever, just because that's what it was last time. Um, so I might move that around, but that's gonna be the setup pretty much. And then the unit cards, gonna store those in age order. And then Kihan's pubs, which I'm sure will be expanded upon. People are like, oh my gosh, they already have so many pubs. But like, honestly, this is pretty standard for Monstax pre-orders. Like I'm surprised we don't have with drama or like Soundwave yet. I'm more surprised about Soundwave, but 
I'm sure that's coming. Um, and then we have the music video A and B, the Starship Square heart cards A and B, or one and two. And then Juhan, or not Juhan, and we have MMT and K-Town. And then we have extra pob pages because I'm gonna need it. I think I really wanna do full group again for pobs. I think, I think I'm just gonna do Changyun and Kihyun for lucky draws again this era. I mean, last era I only did Kihyun, but because I'm collecting Changyun fully now, um, I might do lucky draws for him. I'm trying to decide if I wanna go back and get his no limit lucky draws, but as of right now, um, with all the stuff coming out the next couple of months that's not really in the cards currently, but I think eventually I would like to get his lucky draw cards from last era. Um, but yeah, so that's everything. I am so, so excited to collect for a new Moss Dex era. Y'all know, y'all know that they're like number ones in my heart always and forever and I adore them and I'm so excited for this album. I'm so excited for how much the members like participated on this album, like all of them participated on this album. And I'm sure they found a way to include Shonu cause that's like just what they do. Um, but yeah, um, at this point, if you've seen this video, then the first set of teasers are up. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and what you plan on collecting in this era. Are you collecting Monster? I know, I know a lot of people got into Monster like within the past two eras. So comebacks are also super new for a lot of y'all. So let me know how excited you are to collect a new era in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.